Uh, my name is Martin Rosenthal, uh, assistant professor down at University of Florida, one of the trauma surgeons. And I'm here to uh, introduce Caroline Newberry, assistant professor at Cornell, who's a gastroenterologist. And we're going to kind of talk through what her interests are and how she got um, interested in nutrition. So without further ado, thanks for joining us, Caroline. And um, I'm going to give you your first question, which is, uh, what actually prompted you or got you interested in the field of nutrition to begin with? Sure. Uh, well, I'm really excited to be here speaking with you this morning, uh, Dr. Rosenthal. So, you know, in terms of nutrition, I probably can date my interest back to college. So it's been a little, a little while now. Um, you know, back in college, I got involved with a public health organization that um, did community outreach um, in at-risk uh, communities. And we actually started like a nutrition counseling program, did some exercise classes, did some cooking classes. And I thought, you know, it was pretty cool to bring nutrition into that community. Community. Um, and then, you know, at that time, I'd already decided I wanted to be a doctor. And so I was trying to think how to incorporate nutrition into being a physician. And I went through a couple different specialties I was interested in. First, I wanted to be primary care, then a critical care doctor. Finally decided on GI because I thought it was a nice marrying of getting to do procedures, getting to be an expert in the digestive tract, and also really being able to incorporate uh, nutrition therapies into treating patients. Yeah, that's a fantastic answer. You know, uh, I think all of us at some point go through the uh, ultimate decision process. You know, I thought I was going to do a uh, fairly fair number of other uh, expertise, but um, it's very interesting. You know, when you marry nutrition with the, the gastrointestinal tract, it's a win-win. Right. Um, you know, the second question deals more with uh, kind of where you came from. You know, it's really hard to uh, be... Uh, born and interested into nutrition. We all typically have mentors. Could you think of maybe a few of your mentors in the past that helped uh, guide your career? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think mentorship is so important, particularly as you build your career and as somebody who still considers herself a very junior faculty member, um, you know, identifying people to help is, is so important. And, you know, it's interesting, actually, because we find that a lot of physicians don't have a lot of formal nutrition training. And I think that's actually one of the things I want to try to change during my career. Um, so, you know, it took me a little bit of time to find people that were sort of interested in that topic. But, you know, fortunately, during my residency, I was down in Philly at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, I ended up working with uh, someone by the name of Dr. Uh, Octavia Pickett Blakely, who also is an Aspen member. Um, and she was already incorporating nutrition and weight management into her GI practice. So she really took me under her wing and we both worked clinically together as well as did some research projects. And I decided this really was what I wanted to do. Um, during my fellowship um, in GI, where I stayed on at Penn, um, I ended up pursuing the Nestle Nutrition uh, Fellowship for Physicians. And so I was introduced to Dr. Steve McClave and uh, Dr. Robert Martindale, um, who also were really instrumental in sort of solidifying that nutrition uh, knowledge that I needed to be able to incorporate it into my practice. Um, and then finally, actually, also within my institution, um, I was introduced by Dr. Pickett Blakely to um, Dr. Charlene Comfer, who of course is very um, involved in Aspen, one of the former presidents, and actually was serving in that role when I met her. And she was fantastic because she sort of gave me the background of how I could build a nutrition program um, and use it clinically. Uh, she was very involved sort of at our institution uh, in that process. And so I think all four of those people were really instrumental in getting to me to where I am. And I definitely continue to reach out to them for career guidance. I mean, that's, uh, that's a powerhouse of mentors right there. You know, I share two of those because uh, I did the Nestle Fellowship as well. And uh, it's just an excellent way to uh, really get uh, high caliber uh, expertise and uh, really get uh, the literature thrown at you. <laughs> um, so we've talked about your interest in nutrition. We've talked about your mentors. I guess um, going forward in our field of nutrition, uh, is there anything that you think you would change? You know, you mentioned that you want to uh, be able to bring education to other physicians as well and, and virtually anybody. Um, how do you think you'd go about doing that? Right. I mean, I think that's a great question and something that I continue to struggle with. Um, I think that, you know, the field of nutrition sort of getting an education in it includes both didactic lectures as well as sort of clinical experiences. And then you can tailor those 
sentences based on what your uh, background interests are. And so, you know, as a GI doctor, I think it's really important to really understand um, enteral access tube management um, and also other aspects of nutrition therapy. So how do we use um, like oral nutrition, supplementation and dietary changes to affect GI diseases like, you know, heartburn symptoms or dyspeptic symptoms, changes in bowel habits, um, and also sort of weight management techniques for, you know, the obesity epidemic that we're currently facing. And I see a lot of that in my clinic um, and sort of management of things like fatty liver disease. And so, you know, how do we build a curriculum that's comprehensive, uh, but still adaptable to, you know, short timeframes um, is challenging. But, you know, I currently, I worked a little bit with the American Gastroenterology Association with building um, some bite-sized lectures that fellows could watch. And so we're incorporating that into our training right now. And then building clinical experiences that are tailored to, you know, what a physician is interested in. So whether that's, you know, outpatient clinic, whether that's working in an ICU, whether that's in the endoscopy suite, I think sort of finding those clinical experiences and, and making it, you know, relevant to what you're going to do in your career is really important. And so sort of building a, a personalized curriculum for physicians um, is my goal. That's, uh, that's a large undertaking, you know, you know, we both uh, had Martindale and McClave help us and, you know, your expertise is already uh, known and maybe you need to start thinking about maybe being a mentor for one of the Nestle and start a regional uh, approach. You know, if you're going to be doing those didactic lectures like that, uh, I think um, pursuing that might actually be something beneficial. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, it'd be great to sort of um, incorporate all different facets of nutrition training into a, like a comprehensive curriculum for people. Yep. Absolutely. You know, uh, I was reading a little bit uh, about you and, you know, we've had a little bit of discussion offline. And one of the things that fascinated me the most about your, uh, your career so far is that you guys actually put together something really uh, beneficial for patient care uh, at Cornell. I think it was called the Eye Change uh, Program. Could you maybe expound upon that a little bit more? Sure. Yeah, no, that was a really exciting development um, that I helped build like when I came on as faculty um, with a couple other really amazing uh, physicians and dietitians, uh, as well as nursing coordinators. So, you know, our I Change program, which stands for the Innovative Center for Health and Nutrition and Gastroenterology, um, is a multidisciplinary clinic uh, that incorporates nutrition and weight management therapy into management of GI diseases. So, you know, the most common, common diagnoses we see are uh, fatty liver, um, GERD and its complications, but also other um, GI symptoms, things like, you know, common dyspepsia, as well as, again, changes in bowel habits, you know, bloating, um, dysfunction like that. Um, and patients come in and they see multiple providers, uh, when they come into our clinics, uh, depending on what their needs are. So people will often see a general gastroenterologist, um, they see one of our dietitians. they may see our endocrinologist. Um, if they're doing weight management therapy and they're interested in procedures, we have an endobariatrician, so somebody who performs endoscopic uh, procedures for weight loss. And if they're not eligible for that, we do also work with a bariatric surgeon. And so, you know, it's a group of people working together to um, help modulate GI disease um, through a multidisciplinary approach and using nutrition really as a, as a tool for therapy. Wow. I mean, stamp out obesity uh, one patient at a time. You know, like every kind of other disease process, it seems that whenever you have a multidisciplinary team looking at one single uh, pathology, you know, patient care just benefits. And, uh, you know, you guys should really be proud of this. This is something that uh, I think you know, other institutions to pursue. Um, I guess last question that I have for you, uh, unless we could think of a couple more, uh, would be, you know, we are all part of the Aspen community. What, uh, what uh, made you pursue being a member of Aspen? What do you think you've gotten out of being a member of Aspen? And uh, what would you encourage other, other folks to do with their membership? Right. Well, I think especially as a trainee and an um, early career physician, um, because mentorship is so sparse in nutrition uh, out there regionally and nationally, um, 
joining an organization like Aspen is really special because there's a lot of people who have the same interests as you and that you can get a lot of really amazing career counseling, um, both from a research aspect as well as a clinical aspect. And so, you know, I think that the organization has provided me sort of different avenues for mentorship and also, you know, speaking opportunities and getting involved in the committees and, and really feeling ownership of a, of a very, a very niche, um, interest, interest topic, like within the medical community. And so, you know, I really urge, you know, trainees, junior faculty, senior faculty to get involved with the organization. Great. All right, Dr. Newberry, here's uh, actually your last, last question. I know that I already said that, but um, <laughs> the one thing that came to me as you were answering your question about your Aspen membership is uh, research. Are you doing any kind of innovative nutrition research or do you have any future goals for research? Uh, please enlighten us. Yeah, no, I think that's a great question. And it's definitely something that I am very interested in sort of doing clinical uh, research to understand more about how nutrition therapy affects GI diseases. Um, it's always really challenging. You know, I'm primarily a clinician. I spend about seven clinical sessions per week seeing patients, um, but that gives me a little bit of time to sort of uh, figure out what's important to me and, and what questions I want to ask. And so one of the ways I'm trying to marry clinical work with new research is that, you know, that I change program, we're actually building a prospective database of patients. And so everybody who comes in gets consented to be part of our database. And we're trending clinical outcomes with using sort of this multidisciplinary team and uh, helping people with changing their diet and losing weight and sort of what happens to their GI symptoms and diseases. And so we're trending things like body composition through body impedance analysis. Uh, we're trending uh, patients' uh, clinical outcomes with things like fatty liver disease looking at uh, fibrosis in the liver through a fiber scan machine. Uh, we're trending their um, GERD symptoms and their need for um, acid suppression therapy. And so I think it's a nice way for clinicians to use patients that they're already seeing to answer questions about how nutrition therapy can be incorporated into clinical practice. Um, so that's probably the biggest project I'm working on. And then I have a couple other projects I'm working with with trainees, um, just sort of answering some other questions about how both nutrition therapy and weight management affect um, some of these GI diseases. Oh, all around just fantastic uh, answers. You know, I really uh, appreciate you joining me today. Uh, I know this is kind of hard times right now, but uh, it's just great getting to know you and uh, I look forward to interacting with you in the future.